what I tried to do was, you know, track a working cowboy's life through all of the various aspects of their job. You know, in addition to, I obviously wanted it to be a very personal project, like their time off, you know, at home with their families, you know, try and really paint a full and authentic picture of the life of the working cowboy in the 21st century. The project for me came about once I developed a passion for photography, given the fact that I cowboyed throughout my youth, there, there was no way that I wasn't somewhere along the way going to combine my passion for photography with, you know, my passion for the working cowboy. It, it's funny because I pretty much got there the same way as my dad did. He had those same two passions and clearly, you know, I saw a precedent in my life because I grew up watching my dad, you know, photograph and then put together his project on the American Cowboy. So I had a framework. Really, I would say it was almost inevitable that this project was going to happen as opposed to something that, you know, I spent years conceiving. It was more like I had to get it out of me. Truly like one of our really defining professions is the American Cowboy. And I think it just represents kind of Americans' highest ideals of themselves. Hard work, self-sufficiency, and just even the notion, you know, America was built on this notion of vast open space that pulled us all west from the eastern seaboard. And I think that still resides in us as, you know, even, you know, eight, nine, ten generations later, it's still within us and it still kind of defines who Americans are. And I think cowboys are, you know, a real manifestation of that. And so it just goes to the core of how Americans think of themselves and particularly their highest ideals. And I think that's why, you know, the love of the cowboy endures. I, I want to go beyond just the mythology of the American cowboy in my project and talk about who they are as, you know, working people living in a really tough environment. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to undermine the mythology because there's a lot of truth to it. So it's, it's somehow bringing those two things together in a way that will really let people understand, you know, the life of this iconic symbol of the United States. Obviously, there's just the great sense of pride my father and I feel to have our work exhibit in, you know, such a storied and famed institution like the National Cowboy and uh, Western Heritage Museum. So there's just that great sense of pride as a starting point. But beyond that, and it's funny, I, I, it's like all my cowboy friends, you know, all the people that I photographed in this project and became friends with, they've all either been here or they want to come here if they haven't been here. So this is truly like of all the Western museums that exist, there might be some that are a lot closer to them, but this is the one that's sort of like the center of gravity for carrying forward, you know, the traditions and the history of the Western life with everyone that walks through the door. You know, they don't have a love of the West when they get here, and most of them do. They'll sure have one when they leave. And so to be part of that and carry that forward is very meaningful for me and my father both.